I felt like there must be something more to life growing up in a town in Huddersfield, you know, in Yorkshire. This struggle against small minds in small towns that told you you wouldn't amount to anything, that you were too black, too white. This isolation I found useful. It provides the perfect stimulus to reimagine yourself. You had to, or you just didn't exist. My name is Simeon Barclay. I'm a fine artist based in Leeds. And uh, yeah, that's me. I found Vogue magazine at 14. As a paper boy, it was shiny, smelled fantastic. Just this world opened up as you consumed the pages. A world of glamour, theatricality, lush locations. I was hooked, but also the images were rejecting me because I didn't measure up to the sort of ideals and ideas that were being espoused by the magazine. Vogue reflects what you're not, but you can't help but be enticed by the glamour. What I'm trying to understand is how people uh, perform themselves and understanding the lengths people will go to in order to form that identity. I worked within manufacturing for 16 years. For me, this is the forming and performing of masculinity. Within the state of work, you were always being challenged as to how you projected your masculinity. It was, it was tiring to keep up with the pretense. I was resistant to being used as a machine. If I be honest, I was never really any good at it. I was too much of a dreamer, too many delusions of grandeur. Those 16 years weren't all wasted though, it gave me a work ethic and the ability to make things and produce, fabricate, materials, finishes, would all subconsciously reoccur throughout my practice. I wanted to use all these production processes. The idea of adding materials, images, text, I wanted to find a very concise way to sort of deal with understanding the lengths people will go to in order to perform themselves and what are the cultural artefacts they use to, to, um, to situate that performance. I think life could be like a theatre and we're trying to negotiate where we stand in that overall. You never feel whole, even coming into this world, this art world, you're constantly questioning yourself. In essence, it's a world that for a long time in my life, it didn't exist. It's sort of an unknown entity and I'm still trying to find my way within it. It sort of keeps you on your toes. I think there's got to be that, you know, that, there's got to be that rub. You're not putting on your slippers and lying back. I think that rub is really interesting for how you sort of develop yourself and how you go forward.